so in this circuit we require to obtain the equivalent resistance between the points a and b okay uh, now uh, this is actually a sum on infinite ladder okay, of resistors in this case the value of each of the resistor is given to us, uh, to us as 1 ohm okay uh, now in order to solve such type of equations what we can do is okay uh, since here the number of uh, elements the number of circuit elements uh, that is resistors in this case is going up to infinity so what we can do is uh, Suppose if we'll assume that the equivalent resistance between these two points, okay. Suppose it is equal to x ohm, okay. Now we can uh, reduce this uh, circuit, okay, in this manner. Like this, this can also be written as approximately, okay, as Now what we have done here is that we have assumed that the equivalent resistance between the points A and B is x ohm. Okay. Now since this was an infinite ladder, okay, what we can do is we can also say that this structure is a periodic structure which is repeating, okay, repeating in such a manner so that we can replace this entire block, okay, again by a resistance of x ohm. Okay, since the structure is repeating itself. Okay. So what we have done is we have connected the equivalent resistance in parallel. Instead of the whole infinite structure, the whole infinite ladder, we have substituted this part with the actual uh, resistance, which is with, uh, which we wanted to obtain, that is x ohm. Okay. Now, uh, now our job is to determine the value of the equivalent resistance between these two points A and B. Okay. So this is the reduced structure. Now, from here on, it is very simple to determine what is the value of the x. Okay. That is the value of resistance between the points A and B. Okay. So uh, as we can see in this. Uh, circuit x and 1 x ohm and 1 ohm are in parallel to each other so the equivalent combination for this would be uh, that is we have seen earlier that uh, for parallel case equivalent is r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 so in our case r1 is x1 and r2 is 1 ohm so the parallel combination of these two re resistors would be x into 1 divided by x plus 1 okay so we can replace these two resistors by a single resistor with value x upon x plus 1. Okay. Now, from here, what we can say is that this resistor, okay, this resistor x plus 1 and this, uh, these, uh, these are in connected in series. Okay. So, the equivalent value of the resistor, okay, here it would be So the parallel combination uh, for series combination, the equivalent resistance here it would be R1 plus R2 plus R3. So this would be 1 ohm plus x upon x plus 1 equals to uh, plus 1 ohm. So this would be 2 plus x upon x plus 1. Okay. And this is equal equivalent to the equivalent resistance between the points A and B. But in our case, we have seen that the equivalent resistance between the points A and B is same as x ohm. So even the LHS is equal to x ohm. Okay. Now we need to solve for the value of x. So uh, by solving this algebraic equation, we can write here is that it is equal to x square plus x is equal to 2x plus 2 plus x. Okay. So it will give us a quadratic equation as x square minus 2x minus 2 equals to 0. Okay. Uh, now if we if we'll solve this quadratic equation, okay, uh, we'll be getting two roots of x. Now, after solving this, actually, we'll be getting a value x equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 3. Okay. Uh, but uh, both these values won't satisfy the answer because, uh, see, uh, both the answers won't be valid for a resistor because we have assumed that the resistor is a passive device. Okay. So, for a passive device, the value of resistance should always be positive. So, if we'll consider 1 minus root 3 as one of the solution, then it will, it will give us a value of x is negative. Okay, but that would make the resistance as an active device. Okay, so we should ignore the value of uh, resistance as 1 minus root 3. Okay, so the actual value which we will be uh, taking is 1 plus root 3 ohms. Okay, so this is the value of the resistance between the points A and B for an infinite ladder having the value of resistance for each of the element as 1 ohm. Uh, now, um, before um, 
uh, we go further ahead we'll uh, just discuss uh, some 